Hello everyone, I am Pepino here, and uh, today we are playing more Pepino's World, and we are going to take a look at uh, some of the biggest structures that I have built. So, we'll start with my first attempt at a large structure. I guess the castle, uh, the cobblestone, really awful castle, and the Temple of Doom could be considered large structures. Uh, but... You know, we'll, we'll uh, not talk about those because we covered those in previous episodes. Uh, this up here is not one of the ones I'm going to show you. This is something else which we can deal with later. Uh, but anyway, this wasn't all snow either. Uh, it used to be, used to be uh, not a snow biome. So, oh yes, well, we'll conveniently we're down here uh, this is my underwater base area that I made at one point don't actually know I thought I got in from over here right oh you drop down here there we go that's how you get in uh, it's not good like most things it's kind of half finished I was never really much into the interior decorating of anything uh, but I made this underwater area just because I thought it would be cool. And so that's that. This is my underwater uh, base. And up there is the next thing we're going to take a look at. So we'll get out of here because there's not much to see. Uh, we can maybe add some stuff to here in a future episode of the series once we're done with all of our tours and whatnot. So now I gotta hope I can swim out of here. I think I can. I can do it. Alright. So. Now let's head over here. And there's this little island which has a walkway. And the walkway goes over to this large temple that I built. Uh, and this one, basically I had a lot of resources and I didn't know what to do with them. So I decided I'm going to build something really big. And this was my first really big building, and I, I actually really like the way this turned out. Like, for my skill level at the time, this was a pretty darn cool looking entrance. Uh, and, you know, the stairs aren't the best. They aren't exactly even on the sides, but I thought that it was still pretty cool. Uh, and then you go in here, the doors got messed up when I converted the world. So, we'll, we'll fix that real quick. Um... And then, in a second, I will show you, ta-da, my giant statue of a miner made of gold with a diamond pickaxe. And I made the floor out of the mossy cobblestone from the couple dungeons that I found. I've only found, I think, like two or three. So all my mossy cobble went into this flooring right here. And you go up here, there's a little platform. And there were waterfalls that went down into there, but they froze, so we'll have to do something about that. There were ladders, so you could get up to the roof, but again, uh, you need ladders every block now. So, um, the ladders no longer work and we can't reach the top. Now this island right here, this island is another one of my favorites, uh, and we'll check it out here. It, it's a pretty darn cool island. Um, you may be, may be slightly confused as to why it's such a cool island. Uh, but you'll figure it out in just a second. Because this island isn't actually a real island. It is entirely man-made. Uh, I built a little platform. There's even a pig living in here. Uh, but yeah, I made the entire island. It was originally a dirt and grass platform uh, that I made. Then I put up some cobblestone walls, and all of the walls and everything are hollow, and I made it look like a real naturally occurring island, uh, just because I thought that was super cool. And this goes down into my mines. If I jumped down there, I couldn't get out because of the ladders. But yeah, this is my... Uh, artificial island that I created uh, and I thought that was pretty sweet 
Oh, there's ice here. I gotta get up through the ice. This turning into a snow biome has been slightly inconvenient, but anyway. So that is that. That's my artificial island. What happened to the leaves on that tree? All right. Well, anyway, we will continue on, and I gotta head over off in this direction to get to uh, my next large structures uh, and so I'm just gonna run over there I'll bring you guys back in a second okay so we're over here by my uh, flaming castle and we're gonna take a look at the rest of my large structures that I've built um, and we'll head over here past the flaming castle into an entirely new area and you can already see and I think you may have seen in a previous episode this structure right here uh, this arose from when I had been playing for a long 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 time and remember that silo I had full of uh, well, was wheat and food and stuff in a previous episode yeah I had pretty much all those empty chests were full of cobblestone so I wanted to build a big structure and this is what I came up with and uh, as you'll see a little later it turned out not actually being big enough for what I needed because I wanted to get rid of oh just gotta load in here I wanted to get rid of most of my uh, my cobblestone that I just had sitting around and this wasn't enough I had a ton ton more uh, cobblestone and so I made some more structures which we'll look at in a bit alright kill him we'll take the gunpowder because we'll need to make some TNT later over there are villages from mods which we'll talk about uh, next episode I'm covering all the stuff that's in here because of mods uh, and then after that, I think the tours are probably going to be over. Uh, and once the tours are over, then we can start playing. So, uh, this, I was obsessed with obsidian for a while and spent tons and tons of time mining it. And I made a huge obsidian bunker that I didn't actually do anything on the inside of. So, yeah, we can do something with that later, maybe. Uh, but that's my giant obsidian structure. It's not actually giant, but for uh, for how long it takes to mine obsidian, that's pretty good, I would think. So, then, this is taking a long time to load in things. That hole's not actually there. But, uh, anyway. So, then we will move on. We gotta go through these villages to get to my largest and most impressive structure I think I've ever built in Minecraft built all of this world is built legitimately by the way that's the other thing because uh, I've built some cool stuff but not without using you know world edit things like that oh, and the sun is going down although I have a place we can sleep so we'll sleep and then in the morning I will show you my largest structure so we'll be right back okay it's morning just leaving my small bedroom that I had made uh, it's not anything impressive I made it a long time ago but uh, this is the village that we were just passing uh, and it's from a mod like I said we'll cover that next episode so for now let's just get through the village and over there in the distance you'll start to see it loading in my gigantic structure that I still to this day can't believe I actually built legitimately with all of it it's so big it was over 12,000 stone blocks so yeah that'll give you an idea um I have this isn't loading in and I don't know why uh, but maybe it's just a lot to load for whatever reason it's taken forever but I have 
this boathouse I built here so that I could get over to uh, to my structure easier there it is and you'll see it loading in in a second I went with kind of the entrances it's four sided there's four of these entrances in each corner and I went with sort of the uh, it's like a Greek or Roman temple looking type of entrance at least that's what I was going for uh, and I think I think it worked so we'll sail around it here as it loads uh, ice has been forming around the sides of it because of the biome change uh, and that's not as high as it goes you'll see it's basically these four entrances here these entryways and a big tower or four sort of towers and then a really big tower which still hasn't loaded so we may have to climb up there for it to load so there's a boat under the ice that's interesting alright so let's climb up here and go inside check it out there's a spider chilling in there but there see these are just the four small towers and those are pretty big for building it legitimately and I have oh, geez, lots of stuff in here I need to light it up better apparently zombie with gold armor there you go alright so now we'll light it up better but yeah these are my towers and I thought it looked pretty darn cool at the time uh, these were my furnaces if you remember in my main house uh, there's tons of furnaces down in the basement that's because I had to convert all of the cobble into smooth stone. So basically I would put a stack of cobble in each of the furnaces, uh, come here and work on this. By the time I ran out of building materials, I would go back. It would have been smelted, and then I would replace it with another stack of cobble, come back and work, and just repeat that process. Let's skelly over here. Alright. So, then there is around one of these corners there is a ladder there's the ladder so now we gotta climb up to the top here um and we'll check out more of this up on the top these are the tops of the uh, little the four outer towers and there's the real big tower little weird lighting glitch thing there it looks like uh, but you get up there you hop down here and there's this path with floating netherrack and fire it goes up here again I, I wasn't too into interior decorating I more cared what things looked like from the outside so these rooms are fairly empty but we could do some cool stuff with them later uh, and then over here I just made like a fire and water room for some reason uh, I thought it was cool I guess uh, I don't know but yeah and then this room was all wool in the walls it was gonna be a bedroom of sorts a beautiful view here of everything you can see the villages over there that's the boathouse there's the edges of the villages but they're not loaded right now um, and then you hop up here and this right here was the world limit height this used to be as high as you could go basically where these you see the clouds were the limit for how high you could build so as the cloud passes over us this was as high as you could get back in the old days uh, so that's as high as I built it now how did I get down I could jump like I used to be able to jump but as you can see there's ice now so I can't make it to the edge of the ice so I need a new way down this thing so I have to actually go down the ladder and uh, actually climb all the way down but yeah this is probably uh, my most impressive structure like I said it was over 12,000 smooth stone blocks all gotten legitimately and it took me like a week of just pretty much playing constantly at school and then from the time I got home basically till I went to bed because I, wa I wasn't actually good at building, so it took me forever. So this was one of my most proud achievements. This giant 
tower building thing here, and I'm sure we'll be coming back to that, and we can do some more stuff with that later in the series. But yeah, that is my big structures, and so thank you guys for watching, and we should have uh, one more tour episode, and then we can get into playing and doing some fun stuff, trying to restore the world, uh, clean up some of the weird stuff that I have unfinished, make it look real nice, stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.